Yo, how's it going, bro? Welcome back to another video. One year, or I think it's actually been more than one year. I can't remember when exactly I got it, but but I've been using Linux on my ThinkPad for over a year now. I went through my entire first year of university using Linux, using a ThinkPad, no dual booting. I was just like, you know, I'm going to go pure. Like, I'm just going to go hardcore. Like, I don't care. Like, I just, as soon as I got the laptop, I loaded up. It was like Windows 11 installed immediately. I'm just like, I didn't even really play around. I'm just like, this shit sucks. How, <laughs> I just looked up how to delete, like how to like format drive. Like I just, I just went straight for it. I think if I remember correctly, I just put in the U the Archonix like live USB and then I just formatted it from there. Like I didn't just, just boom. Like I'm like, I don't want to waste my time with this. I don't even care. I realized it was probably a bad idea. I should have saved the Windows key. At least I could have like, I think I might've been able to sell that or something or like just at least keep it just in case. But um, no, I just, I decided to go hardcore. Now, first things first. So I have the E15. So that's like a cheap, like cheaper model. I mean, still kind of expensive. I think it was like 1400, 1400 Australian dollars or something like that. But I think that's considered like one of the like cheaper, like lower range models. Overall performance, like 16 gigs, uh, some Ryzen 5700, I think, 5700. And I think the GPU is just like integrated, but I don't care. Like it's just, I literally just use it for uni work. So far, the only thing I can really say, I'll say that the charging is amazing. You plug it in and it charges like super quick, like very quickly, very quickly. But on the other hand, the battery is also just pretty dark. Like I can't lie, the battery is dark water. I don't know if it's something that I haven't done, like the settings in it, I haven't optimized it, or maybe the battery is just not that good or something to do with Linux. I didn't even try out the battery on Windows, so I can't even say if like Linux is the culprit or not but I just can say that the battery is not that good. That's the only thing that makes me envious of like my friends who have like a Mac, like especially Mac, like he's like, oh yeah, just like I charge it like once every three days. At uni, if I'm at uni, I have to charge it like definitely once every day or at least maybe even twice a day if I'm using it for a long time. Likewise, I also made a video before this, but at least in my university degree, I'm studying computer science. There was but like, it was fine. It would be fine to use Linux. There would be no issue. I wouldn't encounter like anyone like, oh, you can't use this or that or like any programs. Like it all worked out. It always worked out, except when I had to do an exam. Like I had to do not an exam, like kind of like a theoretical test on like algorithms and stuff. They wanted like a safe browser where like it's exam and like they know you can't cheat and this and that. And then because of that, and because of that, the software is only supported on Windows and Mac and you have to use it. If you don't, then you can't do the test. So that's like the only, I guess, like annoying thing that I encountered. And honestly, like, <laughs> I find it kind of funny that I'm just like, yeah, you know, I'll just go with like Linux. Like, I don't care. But honestly, I'd recommend that, like, keep keep Windows on there. Like, just dual boot it. Just do boot it. Like, you'll just save yourself a headache. I remember when they turned out that, oh, yeah, I'm going to have to use like Windows on Mac. I was like, oh, stressful. Like, should I virtualize it? No, like, I could just run into errors. Should I learn a laptop? Oh, there's this and that. It's just, it was just a very, just collapsed, just very bad situation. And also, I'll say this. I think even if you're not doing coding, like, probably just any kind of, probably anything, honestly, I just say get a big laptop. Like, this is 15 inch. Although it's not as portable, it's kind of heavy. It's not super bad. You just need a bigger backpack, honestly. Like, I just, I bought another backpack. It was like, that supports like a 15.6 inch laptop. But at least for programming, it is so much better. To just code on like a nice like big oh it's not even that big like even then i sometimes feel like oh this is not even that good like compared to like coding on like i have a 27 inch 27 inch is just perfect 15 is like so small and then i've got friends that are coding on like 11 or 13 inch laptops i'm just like bro like how can it's just that's just it's that's hard just invest into the screen real estate it might be more expensive but you'll be thanking yourself you'll be thanking yourself honestly and honestly like performance and everything like i don't game i don't game like at all not even on my bit like technically my i have a gaming computer but i don't even game i literally just record videos i record edit and just like watch youtube that's the only thing i really do on my computer and just work but same on the laptop like i don't game or anything so like performance it works fine it like it, it works for what i need it to do it never like lags or anything it just but again like the only like task i'm really doing is like i don't i don't even watch youtube on my laptop I, because I literally only use my laptop at school or at home when I'm just like finishing up like some assignment or something. But usually I just put, do it on my main computer anyways. Like I just like push it to Git and then I'll just work from like my main computer. I'll say this as well, is that one thing I did. So I installed it 
through the Arch install script. I didn't manually install Arch Linux, so technically I'm a fake Arch user. But besides that, what I did was I separated the root and the home partition. And one mistake I did, so if you're going to be installing Arch Linux on your laptop, make sure you don't separate, or if you're going to separate root and home partition, make sure that you give your, make sure that you give your root partition enough space. Because what happened is I only gave it 20 gigs. I'm like, I didn't even really think about it. I'm just like, oh, it should be fine. The thing is, whenever you install a program, it goes to your root. It doesn't go to your home. So very quickly, like, I don't even have that much programs downloaded. But I do have, like, two IDEs because of, like, uni. Like, I have to have, like, IntelliJ and uh, VS Code. So it's just kind of annoying. But the thing is, is that right now, like, I can not like install anything like i don't even have like i don't even have discord <laughs> like it's actually like pretty bad i can't lie it was also to the point where maybe you've seen in my old videos like up here like i'd have like little pretty pictures i might actually change it back to that but i'd have like pretty pictures up here uh you can see like okay i have like an icon here like it would be like the same thing like i'd have icons essentially i can't even have that on my laptop anymore like i deleted it the it's called nerd fonts i deleted that because it was just taking up too much space and i had to install like something else so it's bad so make sure if you're going to be you know installing you're going to be separating your root partitions and all that give yourself give your root partition of space you're going to need it you're actually going to need it 20 gigs is not enough and again i also barely have anything on this laptop like i barely have anything installed so yeah that's going to be some afternoon i'm going to have to spend just fixing that I I don't know when I'm going to do that. <laughs> I need to do it soon, like now that I'm on break. But honestly, at least, so this is the E15. I didn't have any issue with the Wi-Fi, or the Bluetooth or drive. Actually, Bluetooth, I was never able to get it working. I tried to like connect my AirPods to it. Never worked. I don't know. Maybe like I'm doing something wrong. I haven't installed something. Uh, but I also like haven't like cared enough to fix it. So that might be an issue you might encounter if you have the same laptop or choose to buy this exact same laptop. But in terms of Wi-Fi, everything works fine. No, like literally no issues. I remember, and it's very common for Linux on laptops to just like the Wi-Fi not to work. Like it's very common. I had, the first time I installed Linux on another laptop, it's like a very old laptop that my dad had. It just, getting Wi-Fi to work on that was the biggest struggle I think I've ever had in my life. It, hours just trying to get it to work and just nothing. Eventually, until eventually it just worked and I have no idea why. I still don't know why. But I mean, in the end, I, I think I threw it away. Like I, I've, it was like, it was just dead. It was a really bad laptop, very slow and everything. Oh, and I was to say about the size, I feel like 15 is like the perfect size where I think any bigger and it becomes kind of impractical. Any smaller, it, it it's like the sweet spot. It's very like practical. It's not like super heavy or anything. It's like, it is bigger than most laptops. It's a bit of like a beast. Like <laughs> it's like next to my friend's laptops and stuff, but it works fine. It's good. It's pra like, it's practical in terms of like, coding and just like working with it and genuinely any bigger, like there was no like table or anything where it was like, I couldn't fit it. I remember like in the lecture, in the lecture hall, like the lecture seat, when you take out like the like little table thing, it like just fits it. It just it's like kind of overhanging but like it just works if i had like a 17 or 20 inch like it just it wouldn't it would be way too big for it besides that i think i think 15.6 inch is like the perfect size so if you're gonna get a laptop get 15.6 inch overall i think that's everything i have to say nothing crazy honestly like besides the only thing like oh i had to use like i had to borrow my mom's mac os like mac just to like take an exam take a test or whatever but besides that like everything worked fine and Really no complaints. Like anytime I had to make like a Zoom call or anything like that, like it worked completely fine. Besides that, I think that's all I have to say. If you've been watching my videos and you really like the setup that I have, you can book a free consultation call with me, like 15 minute call. We can talk about what your setup is, you know, what you want to achieve. And from there we can work together and I will help you to achieve your dream setup. If you want to support me, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.